So the other day, I was lucky enough to head on over to the Sega offices here in the UK to get hands-on with the upcoming release, Team Sonic Racing. And in this video, I'm going to offer you a look at the gameplay, which you can see on screen now, all of the in-game characters, the vehicles, the tracks, the modes and options available, along with your very first look at the story mode. Now this has been developed by the award-winning studio Sumo Digital. Team Sonic Racing combines the best elements of arcade and fast-paced competitive style racing as you face off with friends or online in, in some insane multiplayer racing. But of course, there's also this one brand new great element of the game, which is the inclusion of needing to race together and also work together as a team by sharing power-ups and speed boosts to win as a team. Take control of your racing style, there's three distinct character types and you'd un unlock game-changing vehicle customization options to suit each of your racing styles, whether that be speeding up, gearing up, or powering up. This is Team Racing at Sonic Speed. Team Sonic Racing is set to release both physically and digitally on the 21st of May 2019, so we haven't got long to wait. It's being released on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and digital only on PC. So as I say, one of the big differences about this game is it's all about team racing. And there are three drivers per team, and a total of 12 players on the track at any one time. All three drivers contribute to a team score, and it's the highest scoring team that then wins the overall race. You can use various team actions to assist your teammates and also knock out your opponents while charging your team ultimate. And those actions can include, you've got the skin boost, which is boost struggling teammates back into action as you drive by. You've got the slingshot, where you can slipstream a teammate for a slingshot boost. Rescue, where you can knock out opponents to rescue teammates. Item transfer, which is a very cool option, where you can swap the items that you can use as weapons or items in the race with teammates anywhere on the track. And of course, the team ultimate, which is the team ultimate boost after you fill the teams kind of like boost meter throughout the race through doing different actions the players will then be able to unleash a massive speed boost that will help lead your team to victory now this can mean as a team you work on the base that you don't have to all be in first place you could be first you could be last because the last player might then get that that weapon or the boost that's going to knock out so many other players that will keep their other player out in front plus if there's a guy in the midfield well they're going to get back towards the front as well Game modes wise, we're going to touch on, as I say, the story mode, but you've got online and offline local co-op modes, the 12 players per race. The race you're seeing on the screen now, actually, this was just me setting up a single race on one of the tracks. So you could see, kind of like, this is just, uh, this isn't team based, but you'll see the team based racing very shortly. So this just shows you can come up with any kind of mode, whether it be in Grand Prix mode, Exhibition mode all of the different options that you get from playing in-game. You can do time trials as well if you want to. And of course, the one thing, as I say, the story mode, which is the team adventure mode, which you'll see a lot more of later on in this video. From the characters, you've got 15 playable characters, all from the Sonic universe, uh, and they're in three distinct character types. There's speed, there's technique, and there's power. And each of those play a huge role in actually how you approach the race. The speed types will have the highest top speed. Technique will offer the, uh, the opportunity to avoid being slowed down by obstacles like grass or ice for a limited time. And then power types that can smash through and break through obstacles without being slowed down. So here at the main menu, you can see the different options, the team adventure, local play, online multiplayer, the mod pod, the garage, and of course, you can check out all of your stats. And then when you drop through into local play, you've got time trial, exhibition, or Grand Prix. And then you can do either a standard race or the team race. Now I'm just going through here to show you each of the different places and the areas in the map. So on screen now, you're seeing all of the different areas and the tracks available in those areas. So for instance here is this casino park, where you've got the three different races here. So each of the different areas has got three maps basically. Sandopolis. And then Rooftop Run. Planet Wisp and Seaside Hill, of course, are all in there as well. So, so many great tracks to choose from. Uh, 
really enjoyed the ones that I played and hopefully you'll see quite a few in this gameplay. Uh, but for this one, I was just choosing which one I was going to set up for the race so we could then go through to all of the different characters. So you have Sonic, who is the speed type for his team. Tails is the technique. And then you've got Knuckles, who is the power type. The next team, you've got Big. You've got Chow. You've also got Amy. They make up team number two. Team number three is Blaze, who is the speed type. Silver, who is technique. And Vector, who is power. On to the next team, you've got Omega. You've got Rouge, and you've got Shadow. And then the final team, Metal Sonic, Dr. Eggman, and Zavok. They are your characters available, and you can see the different types of teams that you get. Then each of the cars as well, when you choose them, you'll be able to unlock and customize these as you go, and basically all the different races that you do, whether that be in story mode or online, you will unlock different items for these cars to make them look absolutely insane and incredible. So now we move on to the team adventure. Hi Sonic, Owo Chow and Big and I are having a picnic. Wanna join us? Sure, Knuckles and Tails and I got these weird invitations to meet somebody at the beach for some kind of race, but I've always got time for a chili dog. A race? Hmm, we didn't get any invitations. <laughs> Hello, Blue Hedgehog. I am Dodonpa. I'm glad to see you accepted the honor of my invitation. Are you ready to prove to me that you're the fastest? Fastest is Sonic's middle name. But what's this race all about? Your invitation was skinny on details. Oh, details are quite unimportant, especially to those of limited intellectual capacities. All you need to know is that you race as teams in the most advanced cars that my super science can create, testing your limits on my polishing track. That's pretty vague. And ignoring that limited intellectual capacities crack, all this super science and punishing track talk sounds suspiciously Eggman-esque. I agree. I just met this guy and I already don't trust him. Yeah, the whole thing's a little sketchy, but Doran's got me curious. I really want to check out this race and these supercars. Come on, you know you'll all be safe as long as I'm around. A wise choice, Blue Hedgehog. Join me in my spaceship, and we'll go to Planet Wisp, where the first race awaits. That sounds like fun. Can I go in your spaceship? Why not? A large feline such as yourself would be an asset in any race. You're more good than Amy and I will be with you too. After all, we're a team. Now that Team Rose is going, Team Sonic will have somebody good to race. So as they all head off to Planet Wisp, it gives me the opportunity to explain the Wisps. So the Wisps, there are 14 of them for each of the races, and they offer basically offensive and defensive items okay, to help race. overcome rival teams and also get ahead. They're a key component to victory in Team Sonic Racing, and they can be acquired along the track via random item boxes, and then can be used either offensively or defensively to achieve that victory. So as I say, we're now moving in to the story mode, so you can see we're onto the first area here. We've taken a rocket to the planet Wisp, and now, just so do you get a better understanding of the overall tracks, I know we've kind of like touched on them at the beginning before this, but there are 21 total tracks across seven worlds. 12 of these are brand new, whereas nine are also existing maps from previous Sonic Racing games. Now, the only other thing to note, there are also some key tips and tricks. There is a boost start, which I just missed there, but it's simple. As the countdown happens, on each countdown, you pull your accelerator. So on three, on two, and on one, and that should then give you your boost start. Drifting, well, again, like with any of these style racing games, you can utilize the drifting mechanic by holding down the drift button, while also turning, and then out the back of that drift, you will then get a boost out of the corner. And again, the final thing from a tips and tricks top line for you in this initial video 
stunts. Any jump that you do, you can flip the car backwards or forwards, and again, just utilising the analogue stick, and that will basically rotate the car, and then as you land, you'll get another speed boost. So I'm now going to leave you to enjoy the remainder of the story mode here in this video. This is Team Sonic Racing. It is releasing in just a few days' time, the 21st of May 2019, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Everyone goes a huge way to supporting me here on the channel. If you want to share the love, feel free to share the video and spread the word and noise about Team Sonic Racing. And of course, if you don't already do so, subscribe to the channel. Daily Top 10s, loads of other exclusive gameplay and walkthroughs just like this each and every single day. Until the next time, my name has been Tommy T. Dribbleline. Thank you for all of your support. Believe in your dreams. Become legend. And I'll speak to you again in the next one.
It's on! Thank you. 